Um, okay, so um, obviously we've just had April the 1st, uh, a huge bunch of April Fools, but there is also what you might call the reverse fall. Um, and the classic one being the Asus Rog Ally was announced on April the 1st and everyone <laughs> thought it was fake. And obviously it's not, it's real. And um, John, we had another one, uh, slightly different in scale, but tell us more about this one. Oh yeah, that's fantastic. I love this. Uh, Night Dive posted that they're bringing uh, the classic first person shooter that debuted on PC, sorry, on 3DO, uh, I believe. PO'd, as it's called. Okay. They're what bringing it back. They're bringing it back. It's uh, this is a wild, this is such a weird game. Some people don't like it. Audi hates this game. I love it. I think it's fascinating. It's basically like this weird. So at the, you got to think when this thing came out, uh, first person shooters were still kind of in their infancy, and it's kind of been decided that Doom was the way forward, somewhat, yeah. right? And PO, it's like, well, what if we made first of all, what if we made everything kind of cartoony and weird? Like your first weapon's like a frying pan, but you okay. whack at people. Sure. Uh, the enemies yeah. are strange, but it's more like it's almost more like a first person platformer, which also seems like a potential bad idea, but it kind of works. It's like this weird, puzzly, somewhat vertical shooter slash melee slash first person thing that is so weird and just like otherworldly that it's somehow really engaging. I quite liked playing P.O.D. Uh, I do have it on 3DO and it's also on PlayStation. Uh, where it runs a lot better, I will say, uh, which is interesting. That's, but yeah. I think PO'd on PlayStation is one of the rare games that actually has visual glitches if you play it on a PlayStation 2 in backwards compatibility mode. The sprites ah. get corrupted. Well, it, making this remaster by Night Dive all the more essential. Exactly, correct. Apparently. Yeah. But no matter where you played it, the game always had like weird, unstable performance. I mean, it was doing a lot. These really big vertical rooms. Actually, the closest thing I could compare it to is it kind of... It kind of scratches a similar itch, though not to the same degree of quality as the original MDK, where you're like dropped into these super strange environments. It's got kind of a dark tone to it, but also a weird comedic one as well. And there's just a lot of unusual things that you encounter on your journey, and I think that's cool and fascinating. And now, with thanks to Night Dive, it sounds like we'll be able to enjoy this at a high frame rate <laughs> with uh, modern controls which could revolutionize it and it might make it possible for people that didn't like it originally to enjoy it because, you know, as a mid nineties FPS game on consoles, you can imagine the controls weren't exactly the most intuitive. It was very much like you turn left and right with the D pad, you move forward and back. I think you use the shoulder buttons to strafe left and right and then face yeah, buttons for weapons. I think it was pretty much that type of thing. And you know, that's not the best anymore. Dual analog hadn't yet really been discovered, and dual analog controls didn't really exist when a PO shipped. So, yeah, this should be really interesting. I and it's funny they announced it on April Fools, and that's a great idea because it's such a ridiculous, unexpected project that it it does kind of work as like a joke. And then they're like, "Ha, huh, you know, April Fools," but really, we're doing it. <laughs> I've, not actually, I've not actually shown the remaster yet. I mean, the actual tweet video they put out was super low res and blurry like almost like video of the time oh man actually that's a good oh uh, actually yeah it does look like it towards the end of the trailer you yeah they definitely the show off stuff. some of the yeah. gameplay uh which i've never played so i just assumed it was the game oh I yeah there, it wasn't there, something there, there made up yeah, at that yeah, some yeah, point yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. um yep that looks that's exactly po'd look at that <laughs> look it's, at that but you see if you look at that footage you see what i mean though right like it's extremely weird like all that vertical stuff the platforming the weird leg enemies everywhere like just i have no problem with first person platforming i i like it i'm fine with it yeah it's okay. a, and it has it always had a, like a, the way the camera moved always kind of had this cool kind of like wobbliness to it that kind of reminds me of what later would be done in turok you know, where it's not just like, it's not that stiff. It kind of feels like there's a lot of like waviness to it to try to simulate somebody moving, moving. around. And it's, uh, that's kind of cool. So yeah, PO'd baby, cool. it's back. Get, get hype. <laughs> um, it was recently announced, but uh, quite a while back now, actually, that uh, System Shock console versions uh, from Night right. Dive are happening in May, I think. Yeah, I believe that's right. I think it's getting a yeah. physical version too, I think. Oh, wow. Okay, um, cool. Hopefully. And I mean, that's, that's great system shock. And apparently just got the latest patch too, which added a bunch of stuff. It added, it improved the cool. ending. I kind of want to see that because the original, 
uh, the original ending to the System Shot remaster remake, I guess I would say, uh, it kind of takes place in a s- separate area than what you've been doing most of the game. It's not; a, it's like a little cyberspacey, but not really the same as the cyberspace stuff either. So it did kind of feel a little bit anticlimactic in a way. And apparently, they've completely redone everything about that, which is fascinating. So I'm curious to go back through and see what the heck that's like. Hopefully, I can just load a save and. <laughs> jump in figure it out yeah we'll see we'll see uh but yeah having that on consoles that's going to be excellent because that's a phenomenally good remake remaster that really respects the source material and did not really dumb it down which surprised me because it's a very complex game it's a game that i will say like if if you're playing system shock and you're like oh, okay i'm not going to play system shock for two months i'll just come back to it later <laughs> you're going to be in for a world of hurt because this is a game <laughs> with like no real objective markers you got to like actually learn the maps and figure out what the heck you're supposed to do just through poking at the game uh which is super rewarding when you're into it but it's uh it does not hold your hand okay fair enough um did they say when po is coming out I don't believe uh, I don't think so. They did. I think they just announced it. Um, right. Okay. Okay. Fair enough. 